sorry, I was girl talking in the break. We're here with Joey King, who I love. And who is starring in uh, the new Let's limited see. series. Um, and uh, it's called We Were the Lucky Ones. That is right. And also, guess what? My co-star is someone who played Drew's son 23 years ago in the movie Riding in Cars with Boys. Please welcome Logan Lawrence. I do not believe we are back right. together. And you guys are so close. Yes. And I'm just, I can't wait to talk about it. How old were you? I was 26 at the time. I was like eight years old. It was a long oh my time God. ago. It's, it's surreal. This well, is very... I I the, there's a picture of us, here. you guys. Look. Aww. Oh, look, there it is. Can you believe that? Yeah. Was, that's like my memory of you. Like the perspective of looking at you in that car, too. I don't know, there were so many scenes, though. It was like such a special experience. That's so sweet. And what made it really special, too, was Penny Marshall, who the was great the greatest person. Penny Marshall yeah. directed the film. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we have that experience you guys, yeah. to bond us. You guys us. are so sweet. Yeah. I'm like loving, like just like sitting here yeah. watching you guys like reconnect. Well, it's you really guys crazy. did Bullet Train together. That's we where did. your friendship first formed, right? Uh, actually, actually, no. Yeah. yeah we, that was really, that was a cool time. That was like our first time working together. That was our, that was like when we became like really, really close friends. But we yeah. actually met like 11 years ago. And then I spit that's in his right. face in Bullet Train. Yeah, that's, that's about the extent of our work, other than just hanging out by that our like, it cast chairs yep. in between. But setup. then you guys are, you know, at each other's wedding. Although, wait a minute, yeah. there was a, a first wedding. There was a first yeah. wedding. For tell me, me uh, tell us if you will, uh, if to. we can be privileged flies on the wall. Yeah, so we got married in uh, in Spain, me and my husband, and we, like, in order for it to be legal when we got married in Spain, we, we had to get married in the States first. So we got my family together. We went to this place called Same Day Marriage on Laurel Canyon. And then we went bowling afterwards with my family. And then we just kind of like bar crawled together. And my grandma was there the whole time, which was so much fun. And then you go to Spain and you have like a wedding. And then we have like a really awesome wedding like a in wedding, Spain. Wedding. Yeah. And you a went, what was it like? It was the greatest. I mean, look, you're just good vibes as a person. So you radiate like Such a good, good time. Such good so vibes. Sweet. Good That's person. exactly. Thanks. And your family and Stephen's family. Um, yeah, we just had the best time. It, it was, was so like, much how could fun. you not have fun? It was it the was best just, weekend yeah. of my life. It was so nice now, being friends with you both. So you're sweet. engaged, I'm right? engaged, yes. Oh, congratulations! Thank you. All fiance. Thank you. Thank you very much. How did you meet your lovely fiance? How did I meet her? Yeah. Um, I, uh, to be honest, it's, um, we met on a dating app. I met her. One and only date for her as well. How and when did you know also that it wasn't just a date, that it was maybe something more? Honestly, right away. I really? knew right away. Yeah, oh, yeah. God. I swear, I really did. Um, okay, we were the lucky ones. This historical story yes. that takes place in Poland, um, but then you're in France, and you know it goes, it goes there. It goes all the way there. Yeah, yeah. it's hard to describe this one in terms of. Um, yeah, I mean, because it's a show and it's uh, you know it's eight episodes, but it has more weight to it. I think it's the, I mean, it's based off of a off, off of a novel that that Georgia Hunter wrote it's about a, her her true family. yeah her family and there's the truth there and it's so well researched and I think the the truth resonates. May I ask what your personal connection is with uh, this? story, this truth, this history. So we both come from Jewish families. And so when it came time to like make a show like this, you know, I, I love being an actress so much because I've, I get to play so many different kinds of people. So, so many people that I have absolutely nothing in common with or that I have to really, really like find something that like is so deep buried to be connected to them. But this one, you know, I was a, I'm a Jewish woman playing this really incredibly brave and powerful Jewish woman. And yes. I feel so... I don't know. It's just a really, it's like an honor of a lifetime. It's so special to be able to play someone like Helena Quartz. Like, she's a real woman, and she, you know, went through some really horrible, tragic things. And may I ask what your connection was, Logan? Adi is, uh, is someone who really resonated with me because he's a, he's a refugee 
um, who, who was trying to escape Europe. And it really centers in on the, the refugee crisis at that time. My grandfather was a refugee from Germany who ended up in China, a long journey through India to China when he was a little kid. And he grew up in Shanghai. So it kind of re reminded me of, of his experience, which I hadn't seen explored before in film or television. So. We'll be right back.